What's up guys, David here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a kitchen callout or a callout of any part of your Revit project. In this video I'm just going to do the kitchen because this is a very common place where you would need a callout. So a callout will zoom in a specific part of your drawing and it will give it more detail and it will just make it easy to work in. So what you want to do is make sure you're on your first floor plan or wherever you want your callout to be. Then you're going to come up here and go to view call out and then you're just going to want to draw a box all the way around what you want to call out so in this case it's my kitchen so you're going to click once and then just drag and then click once again once you have it all selected now you're going to see over here in your project browser you're going to get a call out of the first floor so i'm just going to go ahead and rename that to kitchen call out and click ok now I'm going to click on my kitchen call up view here and you will see that it brought in just that little box that I drew and now to modify it a little bit more I can drag these just a little closer just minor modifications here good now in your kitchen call out view what you want to do is label what sizes your cabinets are so we will start with this base cabinet right here so I'm going to click on it and as you can see it is a 30 inch cabinet so what I want to do is go up to annotate and then click text and I'm going to zoom in on here I'm going to click on that cabinet and since it is a base cabinet we're going to put a B for base and then 30 because it is a 30 inch cabinet now this angled one right here is a 36 inch cabinet so we're going to do the same thing we're going to go back to text and then type B 36 now that's a dishwasher so that one's already labeled now I can come back here and click on this one and I know this is a 30 so I'm going to click base 30 type that in I'm just going to center it right away now next this one is a 12 inch cabinet so I'm going to click on text once again and type base 12 and I'm just gonna move it right in the center now I can also move this one in the center here now I'm going to label my upper cabinet so these we are gonna name W whatever size they are so for this one it's gonna be W12 so I'll go back to annotate text W12 this one is also a 12 inch so I'm gonna click W12 once again this one is a 30 inch and then this one right here as you can see it is a 27 inch but if we go into edit type I had to shrink this because it's above the refrigerator so it's only one foot so we're actually gonna put that in here so I'm gonna go back to annotate text we're gonna put wall 27 and then I'm going to put by 12 labeling that because that is actually just a foot cabinet if this video helped you out, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.